Oh, hello there. This is Wetcher, and I've got me with me here an Australian here who's called William. How are you, William? Good eye, true blue. Should be right, mate. How are you going, Fiddy? You know, do you get many, like, creepy crawlies or blowflies or, you know? Oh, you know what? You get all the flies everywhere, mate, and we have to get the flying doctor to come and get them, and I have to get Skippy to go on a blow at a phone, and, mate, fair dinkum. It's a hard job, mate, you flaming go Are you telling me that... The doctors can fly, like the flying nun. You know what, it's an absolutely bloody miracle, mate. Bloody, eh? You wouldn't believe it. If I hadn't seen it myself, you would have no clue at all, mate. Australia, it's a land of miracles. And we love it, mate. You've seen Australia with Nicole Kippen and that lovely Hugh Jackman. Love it. Yes, I saw Nicole once when I was flying first class plants. You know, she's balding really badly, you know. Ah, oh, the poor Sheila, mate. My heart really goes out to her and all her people out there. She's so Australian. She was born in Hawaii. Isn't that fabulous, mate? It's not a state of Australia. Really? You know, Hawaii was once an island of Great Britain. Oh yeah, those bloody ponds, they're really everywhere, aren't they? We come here to Sydney, all the bloody backpackers, why can't they just go back home to Pommingland? It really drives me mad. They've got kangaroos in their top paddock, I'll tell you, mate. Fair income. Well, if they hated it so much, why didn't they change their flag? I mean, you still have the Union flag on their state flag. They didn't bother putting it. They liked the British. Because of those pretty colours, red, white and blues, they're really in this season. Very Law Ashley, I'm telling you. Very Wayne Cooper, very Morrison, whatever you want to say. Isn't it fabulous, mate? Better than that ghastly stars and stripes and that recalcitrant 13 colonies of bad luck. Oh, those Americans, who knows what they're like. We're the real colony. They don't even play cricket, they play baseball. You know what, we always beat the bombs, and the only reason the Americans won't play it is because they know we'll win. They don't play cricket. <laughs> yeah, you said it, mate. It's just not cricket with them. They've got this little bat. You've seen them play American football. Look at them, they're all petted up. They don't even know what they're doing. Bloody Americans. Almost flared as the bloody bombs, I tell you. You know, when I first came to Australia, I thought it would be something like Neighbours, where everyone would be nice, you know. Yeah, everybody's got good neighbours, a little understanding and all that stuff. Well, I much more prefer homo and gay. Such a great, safe summer day. Here we come, here I come. I'm always coming somewhere. My accent has gone from Cockney to West End. <laughs> In a quantum leap, it's sliding around all over the place. <laughs> You've become so posh in the space of about five, six minutes. It's just not Australian. I'd like to lie back and think of England, but I don't think England lies back and think of me. I mean, if I talk like this in England, they'd say, oh, for God's sakes, you're Australian. We can still tell. <laughs> You'd never think we were Australian. Ooh. I almost did an English accent then, didn't I? <laughs> I almost went into myself. I'm a character actor. I'm in character. I believe in this person. I am that person. Stroh, Shrela, Chirby, right? Maybe this isn't working very well. Maybe we will do what we used to do with the hop and we'll go back into... I'll be... I'll, I'll be the saint that is in William S. Burroughs and you can be Dennis Hopper. I'll be Dennis Hopper. Let's try that. Okay.